That is the fastest rotary <laughs> yeah. in the half mile right there. You see the two Mazdas that we have and you think that we're big Mazda fans. We got one up by this guy. He has a Mazda towing a Mazda. I have a weird thing at about three in the morning, it's 4.30 now. I felt the whole trailer like pull the truck to stop like two or three times at about 75 miles an hour, which is the speed limit here. And uh, I looked back and I saw sparks coming out from this tire and I thought maybe the trailer brake was engaging and shooting sparks or something like that. Slowed down and saw the remains of a, <laughs> a strap. So we actually lost a strap on the four rotor. Vibration and whatnot, but it's one of our bigger straps. Um, and my best guess is that it might have ate through the beadlock on it because it's the fatter strap. I don't know. <laughs> uh, where are we right now, anyway? Um, <laughs> we are on I-10. Um, that might give you an idea of where we are currently. Oh, um, I know exactly where yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. I, I also had no idea that the I-10 is the Pearl Harbor Memorial Freeway, something like that. That's, that's yeah, like... that's the part we're on. <laughs> How far? We are about 12 hours left. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take another night shift just because I'm all ready to go. And uh, You kind of cracked out. What did you do? What, what do you mean? <laughs> There's tons of like three wheels. Is that a Texas thing? The three wheeler? Like, I know Harley Davidson's are huge, but they have like. Look at all these. And those bikes have to weigh like a thousand pounds. Like, they have to be heavy bikes. So, Isaiah believes that that sign is 100% truth. I, I, I've i seen a lot of cowboy like characteristics out here. I told Joel to look it up, and Joel doesn't know how to do shit with his hands, apparently. <laughs> so, I ended up looking it up because I, like, I just didn't want to speculate. Right now, Thursday, March 23rd through the 26th is one of the largest bike rallies in Texas. Jeez. Thunder wow. of the hill, in the hill, that is true. We just, minutes prior, made it to Hondo and went next door, got Golden Chick. Both cars are fully intact, we survived. We're ahead of schedule, we get to sleep a full night, get up and make it to the driver's meeting, 2023, new me. I'm super excited. I hope nobody steals any shit out of the cars or on the cars with the cars themselves. It's the morning of, and we're getting all of our rituals and you know, getting the right headspace, and Isaiah decided to make waffles. But it's in the shape of Texas, and we're not leaving until you eat Houston or Dallas. I only ate where we're at. This is way too big for me. <laughs> How's it going? What's going on, man? Damn. That, that two of these. Yeah. <laughs> so we will drive four rotor. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look, I know that. <laughs> I've only seen it on the fucking YouTube. That was a really cool way to be welcomed and get the energy up right as soon as we're getting into the event. We are here at Hondo, Texas, and we have both the four rotor and the three rotor ready to try and break and then take even further the half mile record for rotaries. I set it six years ago at 177 miles an hour and then reset it to 181 as we were getting better with the three rotor, but I did that without a dash and I did that with a stock synchro transmission, meaning that the shifts were very slow and laborious. As our goal is to hit 190 in the three rotor and break the infamous 200 miles an hour in the four rotor. I do believe that the three rotor hitting 190 is actually going to be the harder goal. There's a lot of work to get done, so uh, just like the four rotor, I'm gonna put this thing in four wheel drive right there. Pays to be early. This is the three rotor, and this is the four rotor, and then I even got a, a shirt. I even got a Zeta shirt. Don't want to do this, but you know, we're at different events. Straight in 10 hours a day to get here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Might have been straight there. <laughs> oh, well, you're judging me. Okay, okay. So I am importing my map I've been working on for the last week. It's got a lot of fuel tuning, engine functions. We're looking at like a lot of boost control changes, transmission changes, Altezza changes, traction control, launch control. They're all things that I've modified since running the Hoonigan last race, which you guys haven't seen yet. Uh, and that last race, we'll just say, shit's on the first three. We just still have the new turbo and the taller gearing, so I'm gonna have to let the car kind of auto-tune some of that stuff. I have an idea, but it definitely is more laggy than the 94 as expected. out and be careful and get its first pass at uh, a half mile ever done. That's so cool that we can just drive it like a normal yeah, car. Yeah, it behaves so well. So much easier than the three rotor. Anybody else in all the videos from this event and you see somebody spinning out do not give them shit that is terrifyingly bad it is bad out there it's just like like ice the all-wheel drive system was doing its job but i need to see what was going on because the car was still darting I, almost as sketchy as the three-rotor and we've had this car up to 160 on a runway before now the new turbo the taller gearing it lugs into fifth so i can't short shift at all on this car so the taller gearing sucks for that reason so i think you did a 161 okay so obviously I was letting off most of the time, yeah. but you're gonna see something towards the end where the car start doing this. Yeah. And so we need to see what that was because that was that was very unstable. Something happened. Look at the wheel speed sensors are just going nuts. What else could, could it cause that if all the wires are? And something in. wire might have got shredded somewhere in the harness. Something something bad happened yeah. at the top speed, and so all my data is bad. And so then my traction control started kicking in, and I don't know what was causing the car to. to go side to side but the traction control is probably cutting power and, and causing the car to do some weird shit. I go and use traction control this time to be safe and it actually ends up hurting me more but uh, you know that's not its fault. I just pulled 30% boost out just so I can make a safe clean pass and then we can start adding it back in but that's that's my current best solution right now. You know what they say is page down for traction? Apparently. I need to figure out what's going on with the wheel speed sensors so. though. We're still in diagnostic mode. I'm gonna do a lap just up and down, not go fast or anything, but just so I can test to see if my wheel speed sensors uh, behave. <laughs> So 
I can't use the previous numbers of boost targets. So turning the boost down means this run should be like a nice clean flat pedal run, no traction control. Hopefully we'll hit like 180s, then we can turn it up and look at what gears need what. I think that was it. <laughs> Woo. How fast did that feel? I would say 192. <laughs> you see your phone? No. I texted you 192. No way. 192, exactly. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Oh my god. How that does is. That feel? Uh, it looks solid. It looks it, like it just. Something at the top end, it starts wiggling back and forth. The, the wheel speed sensors went to shit again. Huh. Um, so we'll figure out what's going on there. But yeah, she was way more planted that time. We're way more on point for me just to stick my foot down. After first gear, the car did kind of kick out. I'm gonna look at the logs, but I need to figure out what's causing, like watch the GoPro footage. The car does this at the top, top speed. As soon as you let off, the car starts going like this. And I, I'll look at to make sure it's not all the drive first. I turned off, all, you'll see me. I instinctively turned off all the drive and it seemed to help a little bit, but I think the car has got some aerodynamic problems. I'll take off the wing, honestly. Congratulations, dude. You beat your own record. Oh yeah, yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. that. that's right. I totally <laughs> forgot. That is the fastest rotary yeah. in the half mile right there. First one in the 190s if you want to be really pedantic. That's nuts. That's nuts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's so much, there's, you know what the crazy part is? There's so much more in it. It's, yeah. it's I know. It's right traction. Dude, I was like, that's, that's turned down and let you to yeah. do that, which is the craziest I'll, thing. I'll put it this way. Six gear was 25 PSI and we have 38 to 40. <laughs> Woo! So, that's, that's, yeah, if we get the car stable, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be in the 200s. Yeah, look at that. That run, the wheel speeds were all over the place. So that really screwed up my all wheel drive system. Big that's time. insane. So we need oh, to figure out. Yeah, so it's messing up wheel slip. So wheel slip thinks it's going crazy. So I guarantee if we go look, that's why that's why I instinctively reached for my all wheel drive system and turned it off at the top, right? You can see right there, I turned it off because it thinks I have 100 to 275 wheel slip when the car's not slipping at all. We went to 60 pounds of boost.